All right, guys, let's go through evaluating expressions. So to evaluate expressions, remember we substitute the given value for the variable. So I'm going to replace the letter with the number and then simplify that using the order of operations. So I am going to rewrite the problem, uh, b squared minus 10. It says that b equals 6. So I'm going to rewrite it, but anywhere I see a b, I'm going to put a 6 in instead. So 6 squared minus 10. And then I'm going to simplify using um, order of operations, so just solve it. So order of operations says exponents first. This is 6 times 6, which is 36. Bring down my minus 10. And then 36 minus 10, which is 26. And that is my answer. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to substitute it in first. So y is 2. So wherever I see a y, I'm going to put 2. 6 parentheses, 2 squared plus 2. And then solve order of operations. So parentheses first. Inside of those parentheses, I need to do the exponent first. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. Bring everything else down. I'm still keeping everything in the parentheses because I'm not done yet with the parentheses. So only once I get only one number in parentheses, then I can get rid of them. So now I'm going to do the 4 plus 2, which gives me 6. And I'm leaving it in parentheses right now, mostly because I don't know what operation this is. So because there's not one in between. Remember, if a number is right next to parentheses, that means to multiply. So this is really 6 times 6, which is 36. And that's our answer. Okay, you go ahead and just try to substitute this in. Okay, so you should have written this as 12 over 2 plus 3 times 4. So it's not 34. Remember the 3 um, is the coefficient and the variable is m. A coefficient is what's being multiplied by the variable. So this is 3 times m, so 3 times 4. Now I can solve order of operations. So I'm going to divide first. Remember this fraction means division. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Bring everything else down. Now I can do this multiplication. So 3 plus 4 is 12. And now I can finally do this addition. 6 plus 12, which is 18. And that's my answer for this problem. All right, go ahead and substitute in for this one. Okay, let's just make sure you substitute in, right? So it should be 16 divided by 8, because the k was 8, plus 7 times 2, because the h was 2. Make sure you have it substituted in, right? And then go ahead and solve it using PEMDAS. Okay, so to solve this problem, I'm going to multiply divide left to right. So I'm going to do this division first. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Bring everything else down. And then multiplication. So 7 times 2 is 14. And then finally my addition, 14 plus 2 is 16. Okay, go ahead and try to substitute this one in. It's a little tricky, but let's just see if you can rewrite it. We should have written 33 minus parentheses 4 times 5 minus, and then this AB is still multiplication, so 5 times 3. Right? It's not 45 and 53 because it has to be multiplication, but also, like, helpful hint look, 45 minus 53, you don't even know how to solve that yet because that would be a negative number. So remember that a number right next to a variable or a variable right next to a variable, that's multiplication. Now I can solve it order of operations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you do that first. So go ahead and solve it. OK, so we should start in parentheses. And we have to do our order of operations in there. So I'm going to start here with the 4 times 5, which is 20. Bring everything else down. OK, then still inside my parentheses. There's some more multiplication. 
So now I have five times three, which is 15. And I brought everything else down. Then I still have parentheses. Notice I'm not getting rid of the parentheses until I have, there's only one number left in there. So now I'm gonna do this 20 minus 15, which is five. Bring everything else down. And finally, 33 minus five equals 28. And that's our answer. Okay, so we can also use this evaluation um, like skill that we just were talking about for formulas. So I'm talking about perimeter here, but it doesn't really matter that it's perimeter. Like, don't let that throw you off. This is still just a formula with variables in it, and I told you what the variables are equal to, and I'm just asking you to substitute in and solve it. So here is the equation they're giving us, P equals 2L plus 2W. So what that really means is perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width, but it doesn't even matter if you know that because you're just gonna substitute in that L is eight and W is three. Yes, that's an L, it's not a one. That's why it's kind of curly. We'll always try to make it a little like curved um, L so that you can tell it's not a one. So let's start by substituting this in. P equals two times the L, which was eight, plus two times the W, which was three. And then we just solve it, order of operations. So two times eight, which is 16. And then two times three, which is six. And finally, 16 plus six is 22. The only extra thing here is since it is perimeter, we should have a unit. So if I look over at my rectangle, it was meters. So this is really 22 meters. Okay, so for slide eight, it's the same idea. This time we're just talking about um, area. Okay, so there's our formula, area equals length times width. Again, it doesn't matter if you know that yet. We're not in our geometry unit yet. So all it really says is L times W. They told you the L, they told you the W. So substitute this in. L was 7.1 times W, which was 2.2. Go ahead and do that multiplication off to the side and let's see what you get. Okay, so I have 7.1 times 2.2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. I don't have any carries to tick, but tack toe. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 7 is 14, and then I can add these up. So I get 2, 6, 5, 1. Don't forget to put that decimal place back in. So 1, 2, 1, 2, and it's 15.62. Sorry about that bell. 15.62, and um, units, again, were meters, but this time it's area. So remember, area is always squared, area, square, area. Yeah. So meters squared for our answer. And we have one last formula to use. So they gave us um, D equals RT. So again, what this really means is distance equals rate times time. But it doesn't matter if you understand that because again, they gave us just, like if I hadn't told you all those words up above, it's just like what we did on all those first couple slides. So you're just gonna substitute in and solve. They did give us a word problem here to go with it. And again, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it says Shelly drove 35 miles per hour for three hours. How far did she drive? So we're trying to figure out her distance. So we know the rate, we know the time, or the R and the T. So we're just gonna substitute it in again. So 35 was the rate, the R, times the time, T, which was three. And just do that multiplication. 35 times three. 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10, so we get 105, and then our unit, we're talking distance, so this M stood for miles, so 105 miles. That's it guys, make sure that PowerPoint is all filled in, and you're good.